Imagine being able to take your AIR and increase it six-fold using an AI upscaler. Well, today I've actually got a hold of Gigapixel AI by Topaz, and it is absolutely amazing. Now, all we need to do to get started is I've got Gigapixel open. I can click Browse Images, and I can start looking for images to upscale. So I choose this monkey image I made quite some time ago, pop it into Gigapixel, and after a bit of processing, you can see the detail it's added. Check out this detail compared to the original. If I actually move over here, I've got a little grid I can move. If I move that over toward the eye, and leave it there. You can see the deeper detail it's added to the skin. It's actually using AI to fill in the lost detail when it's actually enlarging the image. And I've got this at six times. So it's actually six times the width and six times the height of the original image. The cool thing is you can actually uh, download this for free and just try it out yourself. You just can't save until you've bought a license. So we'll pop a link in the description below. I we'll highly recommend checking it out and just having a play because you can get some really cool results with AI art using this. But moving on to some of the settings. So I can actually just move this around and I'm gonna edit out the weight so you can see what happens instantly. You can see the detail it's actually adding into the eye using AI art. And I can change this preview and zoom out a bit as well. So it's taking this image, which is uh, pretty pixelated. It might be hard to see in the video on the left here, but you can really see how, it's, how much is really increased. And if you're looking to print, or produce larger versions of these images, this upscaler is absolutely incredible. And you've actually got a bunch of settings. So like I said, over here on the right, I can scale it or I can just change the width or the height. Uh, I can go over here and crop if I want to. And in this instance, if I hit crop, I can tighten it up, which I will do for the sake of the video, just to show how it works. Hit crop and I've got this image. I can change the view over here so I can get the, the double again. I can change a few things around and actually slide it back and forth. So I can actually take this portion of the eye, I can zoom in, I'll go 200%, which is pretty full on. And check out the difference between the original and the new. The amount of detail added is really impressive. And like I said, this is at 200%. So if I wanna to move to say a portion over here of skin, you can really see how the AI has affected this image and it's really impressive. So I can actually show the same part by going here to this section and just the amount of detail it adds is just completely mind blowing. I'm blown away by this software and I'm glad I put the money into it. But uh, I'm gonna zoom back out to a hundred to say 50% and keep going. So you can see here the detail that's been added, but we've actually got a few different models that we can try. Before I try any of these, I can actually click this slider and it will do an automatic, it'll use recommended settings instead of just what I've chosen. But for a bit of fun, we'll turn it off and see what results we can get. So this is the standard upscaler. We can actually go into a lines upscaler, which is sort of better for, if you've got like an image which has a lot of straight lines, that kind of thing, you can get some different results. As you can see, it looks a little bit funny, like there's a little bit, the, the lines are a little bit too sort of highlighted, but uh, you sort of get the idea we can play with that a little bit. And if I go to say art and CG, we get a different result again. And if I compare that to standard, it's a little bit more sharper. And depending on what image you're working with, you're gonna get better results using different profiles. And this is a great way to look at it. If I go to low resolution, I get a different form of upscale again, and even very compressed. So if you've got an image that has a lot of artifacts, which uh, this one doesn't, uh, we're gonna explore that in another video. But you can see how it kind of smooths things out. But for this one, I think the art and the CG is probably the best, so I'm gonna run with that. And I can do things such as suppress noise. So if there's a bit of noise, I can crank that up. So that way we get less noise in the image. This image may not be the best example, but you get the idea of what we're working with here. We can remove things like blur. So in some areas you find there's a little bit of blur. So if there's a bit of blur up here that's not really as detailed, I can crank this up to try and combat that a bit. You've got an entire panel of settings you can use, including gamma correction. I can turn that on or off. Gamma being the sort of like the contrast and the light of the image. So I can switch that back and forth to see what I get, but I sort of leave that on because I get pretty good results with it. There's also face recovery. If you've got a face in there that doesn't look quite right, it'll actually AI that face. So we'll choose another image in a minute to show how that works. But what's really cool about this is now when I'm ready, I can go here, save my image, and I can preserve the source format. I can choose a JPEG. I can choose what format I want. I can give it a file name. I can just call it Monkey AI. I can choose to save it in the same directory or a custom directory. So I'm gonna put it in a custom directory so it's a bit easier to find for this video. And I click save. And it will process this. 
So we'll skip ahead, it'll take a, take a minute or two. And now my image has actually been exported. I can click this little folder here to bring up the folder and look at the image. So this is essentially my image. I'll go full screen, see if we can zoom in. And you can see, so this was originally 2048 by 2048 pixels, and now it's 12,288 pixels squared. And I can zoom in and check out the level of detail that's been added. If you're really looking to create high resolution AI artwork, this is a great solution because you're taking an AI image and applying a different set of AI to it to expand it and grow upon it. So check out the detail where that just didn't exist before. This image is absolutely gigantic and I can use it for pretty much anything I want to. Uh, so that is sort of the power of it, but there's actually another really cool feature. So I'm gonna go back, I click on the, I'm gonna open some images. This time I'm gonna choose some different images. I have a bunch of AI generated faces in here. And it's not going to be perfect, but we can get some decent results. I'm going to choose some of these. So if you look down the bottom here, I now have a list of images. And what I can do is I can batch process. But I've chosen faces so we can actually use the face recovery as well. So you can see here how we've had this upscale work over on the right. And it's done a pretty decent job. Now, what I can do, since I have this list of images, I can click on different images to try. So I might have this face. I can you see the preview at the top right. I can choose one of these other ones. So I can actually look at areas of this woman's face, try a few different models on the right over here. Keep in mind, this is not like GFB GAN where it will actually fix the face. It's more designed to identify the facial features and shapes and apply that to the detail that it uploads. It doesn't change the structure. But you can see how we've been able to upscale this image, which is really cool. So we've got, let's say we're happy with all our settings here, which I recommend playing with. There's not a ton, but there's enough flexibility to get something really cool. I can now go on the bottom here, hit select all. Maybe I decide to unselect a monkey I've already selected. And you can line up a bunch of images. I can now batch save all these images at once. We can change it to JPEG. I can have a custom directory, which I've just added a folder to. I've got the maximum set to full, and I'm gonna click start. And you can see we've got six images here that is going to batch process. Okay, so I've, I basically let this go just for about two or three minutes and let it go through. I've sped up the footage, obviously. But you can see here, all our, all our images are done. They've got the ticks. I can open up the folder they're in, but you can see the original size down the left with the accompanying resize. So like 6,000 by 6,000 pixels, 9,000 by almost 15,000 pixels. We can apply different profiles to these images. So one, some of them were standard, some were art and CG. Uh, it, they've all been increased by six times and it actually showcases some of these settings. And I can select all these and remove them if I want to. So I can select these and click remove all. Uh, but essentially my images are good to go. So I'm gonna open them up and have a quick look. So these are our images that have been upsized and I open these up and see the level of detail that's been added to what were already low resolution AI images. Some of these are a bit old. They're not the best uh, sort of AI images I have to offer, but they're good examples for what this tool can do. So it hasn't handled this one as well as I'd hoped, but it still looks pretty good. With a few profile changes, we could work with it. Check out the level of quality it's been able to produce from what is ultimately quite a small image. So that is basically how Gigapixel works. I do also recommend checking out Photo AI. I'm gonna pop some images, some videos on the screen now to show you how you can use this for photos and other images, not just AI art, but also checking out Photo AI, which is a few other bits and pieces. Uh, yeah, gonna be reviewing the full Photo AI suite. So uh, check those videos out if they interest you. Otherwise, pretty cool stuff, pretty crazy, uh, and a, a very powerful tool for anyone looking to create high resolution images, whether it is AI art or not. So thanks for watching the video. Hope to see you again soon. Have a great day.